I'm Nurse Jessica Seitz, along with Nurse Erica. We're Nurses Uncorked, the podcast that takes nursing facts with nursing comedy and makes a little cocktail out of it. Welcome to OnlyFans, ladies and gentlemen. My name is yes, Mike. Yes, it's and- a new <laughs> podcast, everybody. You thought you were hearing Nurses Uncorked? No, we're here and we're going to be doing a strip tease, everybody. Welcome back to Nurses Uncorked. Um, yep. I am Nurse Jessica, as always, and we've got uh, Nurse Erica. And today we've got a cool special guest, um, Mike yeah. with Simple Nursing, but he is not a simple nurse, I'll tell you that. I'm a magic <laughs> He's got a nurse, lot of dimension to him. Here. So oh, we're so excited to have Mike on here. We're excited to have him answer um some questions and we're going to oh, get no. into a lot of a lot of stuff i think Maybe you almost some... called him magic mike yeah, yeah i did i did all right before we get into it let's just i need alcohol it's all like after that intro For real. we're gonna we're gonna make our beverage of the week and because yesterday mm-hmm. was halloween um i had come up with a halloween um drink but um Ooh. mike canceled on us at last minute and so <laughs> so <laughs> So now we're doing it a day late, but it doesn't matter. The drink is called Dracula's Blood Cocktail. Ooh. All right. Cocktail. Let's see it. All right. All right. So you take um, two ounces of white rum. Okay. I just happen to have that ready to go. Wait, wait. How how much is two ounces, Jessica? It's actually, this is 1.75, but that's all I'm throwing in there. Okay. Okay. But it it says two ounces. (laughs) Then you take three fourths ounce black cherry juice okay a black okay. cherry juice okay god oh yeah. this is really black good lord oh yeah okay the darker the berry <laughs> you add that in next okay. you add two teaspoons grenadine oh nice okay okay yeah. mm-hmm. make mm-hmm. it pretty very nice very good here comes the grenadine like then grenadine. Mm-hmm. you're gonna pour it over ice okay and you're gonna mix it in my cheap okay cocktail mixer okay Okay, got that. Then you get, you take your fancy <laughs> glass, okay? You have a Chuck's over there. All and right. I know I need fancy one, glass. right? And then you add um, a couple of cherries of your choice. Some pretty maraschino Ooh. cherries or whatever you like. You just made okay. that word up. Okay, it sounds good. What are, <laughs> What word? <laughs> maraschino. Maraschinos. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Isn't that what they're called? That, no, it mar- is. Yeah, that's a type of cherry. It oh, is. It is. Oh, okay. I thought that was like a mariachi's mix of the cappuccino and mariachi. And then here it is, Dracula's blood right. cocktail. Cheers, everybody. It's pretty. Cheers. It Cheers. Cheers. I'll, I'll, Cheers. I'll tell you how it tastes here. And then... Damn, that's good. <laughs> All, right. All right, Erica, so, take it away. Right. Take it away, Erica. What do we got what for Mike? Here? Mike, for yeah, the two people out there that don't know who you are in the nursing world, can you give us a little bit of background on you? Yeah, so I started my OnlyFans about five years ago. No, I'm just kidding. So I, <laughs> so about, about ten years ago, uh, I started this uh, YouTube channel for nursing students. Um, I don't know if you guys even know this, but do you know I was kicked out of nursing school? Yes, um, it's I love on this... my list of questions. I want you to tell oh, yeah. it because I love this story. Tell it, tell it, tell it. Yeah, for being a degenerate. No, no, for being a for being young and dumb, a twenty year old. Uh, or like 20 something 24 25 year old so long story short i started on the ambulance at 18 and okay. uh was doing ambulance and personal training at the same time kind of thing trying to figure my life out never wanted to become a nurse like that was the worst thing in my whole like mind of like being a man <laughs> nurse and like i was early 20s i was dumb and i was always like oh i'm gonna be a pa so after not getting into pa school like three times in a row i was like you know what you're I'm, persistent i'll just go to nursing yeah, right. I'm like, dude, but even nursing school is hard to get into. Oh, yeah. Um, I had applied to seven different schools, two semesters in a row. I got denied every Damn. single time. I only got in on a lottery. Uh, the average wait Damn. time for a community college is three years in California. That's crazy. crazy. That wow. is really Did they crazy. tell you why you're denied? Was it, was it GPA? No, no, Keys, no. It's all disimpacted. He... It's all... Community college wise, it's just first come, first serve. They don't even look at uh, GPAs anymore as long as it's okay. good enough. And so they really? just, yeah, they just go wow. by credits. Like, so the people who stay in school longer are at the top of the list. Okay. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. Unless you want to go to a private school and then pay like over 100 grand or 60 or 80 grand. Yeah, go into debt. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I finally got in, but then I was like, okay, cool, I'm in. And I was expecting like nursing school to be so hard, but I was already teaching EKG to paramedics and was already kind of like a teacher in that aspect. And so when I got in, I was like, what are we doing? Bottle signs and bedpans and like, dude, yeah, that's hard. What the hell is this? I'm like, okay. You're already yeah, used so to all that. Showing, and that's what it is in the beginning. Showing, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that though. I'm like, this is nursing school is going to be a breeze. So started showing up late, turning my assignments in late. I have still the record for the most write-ups in the first semester. Oh, <laughs> Four <shit>. write-ups. <laughs> that was getting kicked out. You, you're a troublemaker. Time, oh yeah. By the time third semester came around, um, you know, all your write-ups follow you with you. And I was late to my th- like third semester, like one of the clinicals, there was like three other students that were late too. But then I got singled out and they're like, you're out of the program. And so I'm like, all right, well, it serves me right. So then, uh, yeah. <laughs> can't I'm like, argue right, with well, you there. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, pretty fair. Pretty fair. I'm like, it should have happened a long time ago. No, but my dean <laughs> sat me down. She's like, we'll get you in the next semester, but just show me you're serious. She's like, you can probably teach a lot of these courses. So just show me you're serious and do a project. I'm like, okay, fine. So my project was to like, do like a boot camp because I was used to the fitness industry. And I'm like, let's just show students, you know, two week boot camp of like how to study, how to time manage. And here's a few memory tricks that helped me for the most difficult topics. And it was during that boot camp that people like put it on YouTube. Now, at the time, I already failed at three other YouTube channels for Gosh. fitness. You can even go on YouTube right now and see my other failed YouTube They're videos. They're still there. It was, yeah, it's called Stay Fit Boot Camp. Okay. Um, let me see it. You are let me persistent. See if it is. Oh, yeah. I yeah. like it's called that. The Rule of I'm not a quitter. Yeah. Gotta keep, yeah gotta see, there it is. Keep going on. That. That's all. Awesome. Camp. It is still <laughs> there. And so there's a female model that we've used, and it's only got like 300 views in 11 years and all this crap. Anyways, <laughs> long story short, is I'm like, they're like, put it on YouTube. I'm like, YouTube will never work. I already failed a few times. But out of all the business books that I've listened to and entrepreneurial books, mm-hmm. they call it the rule of nines. They say, Nine out of every 10 businesses or ideas will fail. So you got to be willing to go nine times. Uh, if you're not willing to fail nine times, just don't start. So I'm like, screw it. This will be my seventh failed business. So <laughs> I did not? like five videos about like 10 years ago on a whiteboard from Walmart and a sock to erase the board. <laughs> and it was really bad if you see some of our first videos. <laughs> and uh, it started getting a few thousand views. I'm like, no way. It's a fluke. So then those five videos became 50, and then I made 500 videos. And then my last semester of nursing school, I quit my job that was making like 12 bucks an hour as a tech. And I'm like, if this thing fails, that's fine. I'll be a nurse in six months. So by the end of um, that six months, by the end, of, well, by graduating nursing school, I, I had like almost 900 videos. It's already done. How and then did you find charging. time to do that during nursing school? I would just choose every, they call it laundry day. Well, I call it laundry day. This is like another hack that I, I use where I'm like, you don't wash your clothes every single time there's a dirty clothes, right? So any right. side projects you have, I call it a Friday night project or a laundry day. Just do one day a week and just focus on that side project for that one day a week. So I just had eight hours on Fridays and I'm like, I'm going to just do as many videos as I can in eight hours. And it turns out it was 25 videos in eight hours. No editing, just me on a whiteboard, kind of wow. like webcam style, like live webcam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and the people like, loved it. That's great. Apparently they did. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know at the time though. They always say like where your opportunity meets your talent. And I didn't know that um historically YouTube was, you know, a place of like people go to watch cat videos and fall down videos. But right. in 2011, uh Google was investing I think over 10 million dollars into Khan Academy and Crash Course and they wanted to become an educational hub. So it was like during that time where I was putting out educational content, a lot of it, and they're like, oh, this guy's doing education. He's really talented, so let's push him up to the top of the list. And so that's where it came. Mm, so perfect so timing for cool. you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and that, that it's the art of the start, really, because I bet so many nurses that are like, I want to teach, like even at CreatorCon when we did the podcast stuff. Yeah. They're like, I want to teach this and this. I'm like, dude, just do it. Just record yourself, throw it up on YouTube. And just make a course, see if people like it. If they do, then you can monetize it, you know. So and it was all geared cool. towards nursing students, your content. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I was just, it was funny because I was just acting as a tutor. And I was just reviewing stuff that I would, you know, tutor other students with. 
it wasn't like I was the expert. I was just even using my note cards that I was studying for the ne next exam, but just <laughs> showing how I studied for it. Right. And, uh, and I still remember like students would email my dean and ask like, hey, what university is this guy from? He's teaching on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And my dean was like really cool about it. She's like, come into the office. She's like, hey, I didn't in disclose any of your information, but she's like, are you telling people you're an educator? I'm like, no, I just say I'm a student nurse mentor. She's like, oh, okay. Because they yeah, all, the, like, all the these truth. educators want information about you. I'm like, all right. I'm like, I didn't say I was anything else. I don't know. So how long so did it, it take to be uh, pretty financially successful doing that? When did you start to see a return? Yeah. So, okay. So statistically, my six other businesses, I was negative $8,000. So I was, in, I was okay. in debt. Never made money. <laughs> I, I made a little money, but it basically yeah. uh, it, it ran out because I kept on investing more into the right. business stuff. So long story short, didn't make any money online. Um, first year, um, we went from zero to six months by the time I was graduating, making more than my deans and professors, um, wow. making like 20000 a month. That's crazy. And then crazy. by the end of that first year, yeah, it was $350,000 that first year in annual revenue. Um, the very next year, we tripled that to almost 900000 And... Uh, and it was wild because I'm like, what? Like 18 months wow. into it, we were like a million dollar company already. Um, wow. And was that mainly, we, was, was that from video views or would you say more like study guide material sales or, or both? Or like combination? Kind of, of both. Yeah. Yeah, combination of both. Um, but mo mostly like, like sales from study guides and study material. Um, and then right around two, two years into it, two and a half years, um, we were just a small family business. And then that, that's when the competition started. And, um, yeah, because they saw how successful you were, probably. Making, yeah, and they started, like, making – it was – dude, it sucks, man. My number one rule of business is always copy the leader, but make it better in your own way. And that's yeah. what they did with me. They copied all of my stuff and just made it a little bit better. So Isn't that infuriating? It was too big. Um, it is, but it, it, it kind of – I don't know. I think that's the way industry works. And – and you can, yeah. you can have two choices. You can get better or you can get better. Just like before smartphones, iPhone was the only smartphone. Now there's all these right. smartphones. Before like iPads, there's, you know, now there's tablets. Yeah. So, you so need about to write a book on ago, business. You should do like a business do. motivational book. Seriously. Yeah, it's, all, it's just psychology, you know. It's like it, that, those are the two choices in life. You know, you just get bitter or you get better. I like and that. about five years ago, we were going bankrupt. We were going 30% down year over year. For like three and a half, almost four years. Wow. And I had a decision to make because I'm like, either I put my life savings back into the company and we have to remake a, over a thousand videos and hire a brand new team that is not family anymore, fire all the family members, go like legitimate corporate with experts yeah. in the field and become an actual educational company. Or my dad was telling me, uh, he was like, no, just bleed the company dry and go back to work as a nurse. But I'm like, oh, I came this far. And I would love to like actually put the student first here instead of putting myself first. So right. when I put the student first and I'm like, what would the student want to see? It's animated videos, better memory tricks, more engaging visuals on screen. Yeah. And, uh, and that's when we just went back to the drawing board and we risked it all. And, uh, and now to this day, we, I think we increased 800% since our bankruptcy uh, in 2017. And so. Congratulations. It's been a yeah, that, that is amazing that's awesome. yeah, and very inspirational. Yeah, when did yeah, the so songs, the, first, the videos come into play? The first songs came uh, 2014. Uh, that's when I really wanted to release Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball video, which is amazing. Oh, I love that one. Uh, <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> my mom would not let me release it because she, uh, it, that's why it didn't go as viral as it probably should have. Because uh, apparently her pastor's daughter was in nursing school. And she's like, I don't want people at church to be talking about us. I'm blah, blah, blah. This is before trans oh. school. I'm like, all right, well, all right, fine. Um, but then the last, we did 20 songs on the last three albums that I already had almost done for like four or five years. And we finally, after doing the thousand videos that we needed to for the core product, then it was like, okay, let's focus on doing the memory music. And, um, and so that was produced in like one big batch last year so that's that how What's i your learned favorite? i learned from like memorizing song like you've that. Done. yeah oh man i love the uti song just because that one just everyone loves that one um <laughs> yeah i know i, I think, forgot you've sang that for us before i think i think i remember something about 
the UTI. Oh, yeah. <laughs> at, at um yeah at, at Creator mm-hmm. Con, I think you did. Um, and then I I like Super Freak or uh, what's it called? <laughs> it's a uh, what's it called? It's Super Freak, but it's like uh, anticoagulation. And then also okay. insulin peak times is like to blur lines. Oh man, it's so good. <laughs> Oh, that's good. good that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you guys haven't heard it, you need to go listen. You need to take a a, a view to this because it's your stuff is impressive and it's so entertaining Thanks. that you don't realize you're being educated in the process. Yeah. You make yeah, it really that, that's seamless. Education should be, you know. So, yeah. God knows in, yeah. in nursing school you have to you have to learn. Uh I mean, what else are you gonna do? So we might as well look at Magic Mike while we're learning yeah. and uh Here's some here's some excited singing. You have a little album too, don't you? Does that don't you still have an album yeah. of songs? Yeah, with simple. Yeah, there's like nursing. four albums now, I think. Three wow. Or four. Um, yeah, they're on Spotify. Anywhere you can get music now. Um, so Google Play, Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, my question for you is, what do you think is the hardest thing that nursing students struggle with? If you had like one thing to pick that is like a repetitive question or things that nursing students say, "Gosh, this is hard to memorize," or what what could you narrow it down to one thing or well first thing is taking you seriously that's that's the big no no uh so the uh the the, the first i'm trying to be uh, professional here <laughs> she's trying okay statistically there's there's five things in nursing okay. school that we've noticed over the past 10 years uh number okay. one is always fluid and electrolytes all the hypers and hypos are just yeah. so confusing yeah, I can so agree we've done that. that video series uh, about Three or four times. Okay. Uh, from med surge to fundamentals to patho, even the NCLEX review. And so now we just simplified it where it's like, just think of the P's with potassium. Potassium pumps the heart. High potassium, you have high pumps. Low potassium, you have low pumps. M for magnesium, okay. it mellows the body. So hyperreflexia with too much magnesium or too little. Anyways, uh, and then calcium contracts. So that's brilliant. High calcium. Yeah. So things like that is like, is the biggest thing. And just the okay. constant re- refining. Um, the second one is usually EKGs because those are yeah. super yeah, confusing. Yeah, hard. I still struggle and then it's, still yeah. after all these years. Yeah, it's like, you don't have, in nursing school, you don't have to be a master at it. But when people actually get to like a telemetry unit, then it's like, they go really deep on it. It's like, oh, crap. So yeah. I think we're going to make some videos for that. Um, and then it's always pharmacology. Everyone hates pharmacology. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I love it, though. Yeah. What was your favorite and your least favorite in nursing school? Yeah, so me, me and Jess, uh, we align on the enemas. We love the... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so we... I always volunteer to give enemas. I just love it. Yeah. It's great. Because, yeah, a, a quote that I got from the Uncorked podcast was, um, you know, keep your friends close, but your enemas closer. And I uh, <laughs> still live by that today. <laughs> I love that. I We're going to steal We need that to use for... that. Yeah. yeah. No, Make so, a t-shirt uh, out of that. Yeah. yeah. We're not we're not hat. giving you any of the profits either. <laughs> That's okay. You guys are keep it. Yeah. Just give me some free swag. I love it. That's great. Yeah. I send you some merch. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. That's hysterical. My favorite topic, it's gonna sound weird, but yeah, it's definitely pharmacology. I love farm. I, really? I, I did teach wow. EKG for a long time. Um, and I like EKG stuff. So that's why I think it aligns, uh, cause I did it so well on YouTube. So people just start watching. Um, yeah. and I just love making memory tricks, uh, just cause it just comes easy to me. So, yeah. What was your least yeah. favorite rotation? Like PED, oh. psych, med surge? By far it was uh maternity mother baby. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's my jam. I know. You- <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a uterus, so that makes sense. So, yeah. <laughs> So it's yeah. just like, I don't know, I, I got like A's and B's, mostly B's in uh, nursing school. And one C was in maternity. So I don't know. That's yeah, it just wasn't your thing. Was... That's like, yeah, I mean, everybody has something they love. And usually something like I knew a respiratory floor. I was like, uh-uh, no, that is not for me. That was That's like my first me. rotation was on respiratory. And everybody, the, just the mucus, I was like, mm-mm, nope. All the mucus plugs. So, yeah. Oh, that doesn't yeah, bother nope, me at all. No, nope, no, nope, I don't. <laughs> I, I just, just a lot of gurgling noises. I just, oh, wow. I don't do, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. So let's talk about the next gen. What are you starting yeah. to see now that we, we've started to get a little bit of um, 
kind of feedback now that it's been out for a minute. So any trends that you're starting to see, challenges that you're hearing about? Yeah, it's, that's a good question. Okay, so the the NCLEX updates every two years. Um, I don't know if people know that, but um, usually yeah. every five years, they do a huge push. And so I guess this last time was the huge, like the big push. And so, but the NCLEX really only updates about 5% every two years, every time. Okay. But I think because everyone's like, oh my gosh, there's going to be a case study now, which basically means like you have three paragraphs of information, like a patient's chart, and then they give you six questions regarding that patient. So you have to dig through information and, and you right. do like four tabs and you click through it, similar to like, you know, a chart, regular chart. Now we interviewed students as they were coming out of the Pearson View Center, right oh, did they you? took their NCLEX. Oh, and I was like, dude, idea. we're going to get, I know where I was like, we're going to get sued for this and my license gets taken away. <laughs> <laughs> but we did it and um that's amazing and overwhelming yeah yeah we, we had people like to sign off disclosures like we're not going to give you an, you know specifics right but overwhelmingly a lot of the students were saying that it's easier um really and that they yeah they like the case studies because it gives you so much information that it's not just like a random multiple choice and usually the questions will build upon each other so yeah in a six question case study, it's like number three, I'm like, oh yeah, it was building upon like what I should have got right in the first question. So it's pretty cool. But then if you're getting oh. part of it wrong, you potentially are getting m multiple questions wrong, right? If you're yeah, not. Yeah, but I don't know. I like, think it's, it's stressful. I'm so glad I didn't have to do that. <laughs> Maybe that's how they weed out the weak ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You I would don't... not have become a nurse. This no, I'm just going <laughs> to <laughs> I may not. I may not. No, we didn't no, have no, no, the no. select all that apply and all that. You guys have the, uh, yeah, the paper one, right? Where you have to just write in paper. I didn't have paper. Uh, no, it was computerized. On, on stone? Mine was like computerized, but I remember that. Just re <laughs> Is it still where you get to 75 questions if you did well, it stops? Like, is that still a thing? Don't act like That's... you got to 75. I'm just kidding. I did. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. it turned off. I was like, oh, really? not me. What? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I went to like I 110, had very, 120. Very good grades. I graduated oh, really? cum laude. I had the whole hoop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cum laude, cum laude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. So, it's funny you guys are saying this because I actually took all the questions in the. Enclave. You did. I was there for five hours. Five no. Hours. Really? Now, what I want to believe I, I, is I would have started crying. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, oh, I was crying for sure. Um, did you think you had failed so, so a lot of students they they believe that um but there's actually a quality control where out of every 10 students they pick one to just take the entire thing oh that's and messed so, up yeah so that's even so if you're scoring up. really above i agree so that ain't wanted, right man i didn't know that yeah that is that's cruel yeah it's pretty bad but um yeah. got through it and uh, i passed and I mean, it could be quality control, or I can just be like borderline passing the whole time. I don't know. Either right. way, RN is an RN, so I'm good. Correct. Great. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A and to do a little simple nursing plug here, we're doing, yeah. uh, we're updating our question bank to have more new NGN question breakdowns and an animated walkthrough where we show you how to answer the question in a video format, which is the first of its okay. kind video rationale. So That's awesome. right now nice. you just have text. And so, yeah, we're doing a video version, which is great. I'm that very jealous great. that You're I didn't have this so when I was many in nursing students. school. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I would love Jeez, for you guys Erica, to Jeez, Erica, you're such an a kisser, man. Thank you, Erica. Appreciate it. Because, yeah, <laughs> Jessica chaps it's my truth. booty. It's the truth. It's the truth. He has single-handedly helped yeah. so many nursing yeah. students over the years. Yeah. I mean, that's got to feel Thank good. You. He really has. <laughs> which, hey, that's a great segue into, you don't know this, well, maybe you do, Mike, but I posted on my page um, that I was going to have you on the podcast and I asked people oh. to ask random questions for you. So right. a lot of, uh, I'm going to pick some of the best ones that came up, but also some people made comments and I thought it'd be nice feedback mm. for you to hear some of the sweet things. Nobody uh -oh. said anything bad. Really? Other Not than yet? there was one joke that I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> I'll start with that one. Okay, let's I, do it. A guy said... Ask him, what does that goatee do? Oh, oh. what did I do, though? <laughs> mm. What said, doesn't it do, though? I, now you can it's tell the, the kind of saver. followers, the followers oh, that sorry. I have, this is the kind of sense of humor that they have, okay? That was oh, the yeah, first one. That, to you. 
All right. First person said, this guy literally saved me in nursing school. Another one said, love it. Listening to some of his videos helped me understand stuff in nursing school like nobody else could. Somebody else said, he is amazing. Another person said, I'm in my fourth semester and Mike is getting me through it. Like, listen to all this nice stuff. That's amazing. Then somebody, this I think they're trying, they're trying to say you're sexy here. They said, is he a nurse at Grace Sloan Memorial in Seattle? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, is that from, like, Mc the Grey's Anatomy? Sorry. That, yes. Yeah. yeah. I think they're, they're, trying to, they're trying to get a date with you, I think. Well, let's please, see, please, and then please, I'll please. get into a cup. Right, let me get into a real question oh, here. God. What's your take on nursing intuition? Do you trust your gut? That's a good question. That's what somebody's Ooh. asking. Do you do you use should nurses rely on their nursing intuition when they feel like something isn't isn't right? <laughs> so I I think it depends on um on uh, if you're a new grad or not, right? Because new grads they say you don't really True. learn anything in nursing school unless your first year, and they they say some have even said by like your second year that's when you become a competent nurse. So yeah. in that window, I don't know if you can rely on your gut because your gut doesn't know what to tell you because um, you're freaking out about everything. So relying True. on, in that first one year window, or at least up to a year and a half, relying on preceptors or an experienced nurse that you can buddy up with and asking them uh, if you should be concerned or not. But then after that, after that window, when, once you've seen a, a number of patients, then you can rely on your gut because uh, that's usually one of the best indicators. So yeah. 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 That's a good answer. And there's definitely been times yeah. that I've had to rely on and you can't even always explain it or articulate it you know you just know this patient is circling the drain even though clinically it's not manifesting yet i know where it's mm -hmm. headed and and it's a hard thing to do to go to a resident or an attending and say like you got to do something you got to do something on this and they're like no the kid's fine or the patient's fine you know it's hard i know so we're at our halfway point of the show, which Eric always right. forgets this, um, but this I is do. where we do our nursing problem of the week and we just oh, yeah. kind of dive into it. So um, I picked one that was asked for Mike out of um, all of these questions here. So his nursing question of the week is, how do you good. respond to verbally abusive patients and or visitors? So they're not talking about physically, they're talking about mm -hmm. verbal abusive patients and visitors like the best way to handle yeah. it because that can it's be awkward. so common like, unfortunately yeah well, yeah like word. um let's let mike answer it since it was a mike question and then i'll tell y'all what i think yeah, yeah one word is security no no uh it's um <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah yeah security um okay the nclex way in the nursing school way is like but it's it's also like the real way, right? You want to use de-escalation, like verbally yeah. in a calm tone. Remind this, remind the client a few times, like, "Hey, just try to de-escalate," and then try to use like your charge nurse or the security as a backup option. And then yeah, chain of command after that. Yeah, on yeah. the NCLEX, we never want to do restraints, but dude, so many times in the ER, we just man, Gia Don and Howell, just bam, you know, yeah, put them to sleep. They call um, you. Yeah. They call you. A you just jab them with a needle. I'm like, Bow. that might be correct, but there you go. <laughs> yeah. You feel like you but uh... I will say, and this mm -hmm. probably is not an NCLEX answer, but I would say, I think, yes, obviously de escalation and, you know, trying to redirect or fix maybe what's underlying or why they're angry. But I think sometimes being a little bit, and this comes with experience, a little bit, you almost have to be a little bit stern sometimes that, like, oh, yeah. you're not going to tolerate it. Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. hey, this is disrespectful, you know, as much as I'm respecting you, you need to respect me. And I, I do think a lot of times that will work in certain circumstances when they realize that they are being angry for no reason. Maybe it's because they're overtired or they're who knows. Um, well, they're just definitely dealing with so many that, emotions that and they work. can't always, you know, process it. So it manifests yeah. in anger and the nurse is the one on the receiving end because we're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. I think a lot of times we're pretty patient. Like, you know, we'll, we'll understand somebody's cursing a little bit, like you're frustrated, you know, but when it starts getting belligerent and it's like attacking the, the actual person themselves for, for no reason, you know, I think that that's kind of when you need to shift gears and uh, start doing all, you know, obviously all those other things, deescalate chain of command, uh, maybe putting them in their place a little bit and, you know, yeah. 
If not, you just get the injection like Mike does and just some pause. Yeah, just go for the yeah. Where's the injection button? Just the, yeah. Yeah. And my favorite is when they ask for the charge nurse. You know, they're they're it's escalating and they say, uh, oh, I don't want to talk to I don't want to talk to you anymore. Give me the charge nurse. And you are the charge nurse, but you also have a patient assignment. That is the best. <laughs> I am the charge nurse. You just turn around. Yes, mm-hmm. how can I help yeah. you? <laughs> yeah. Let me get her for That's you. That's the best. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah. Here. All right. Oh, let's man. let's talk about the Hesse and Tees. Do you do oh, yeah. any content for that? It's funny you say that. Yes, because he does. I've been I know telling, he does. Yeah. I've been telling my team and praying, let's do an exit prep for Hesse, Tees, mm-hmm. and Kaplan Proctor. And yeah. Uh, not, it's not even T's, it's ATI, but ATI is the same thing, to make T. So we've been wanting to do that for a long, uh, I've been wanting to do that for a long time. And finally this year, we're going to be coming out with one. So oh, awesome. in my thing, it's going to be called, it's going to be called the 48 hour exit prep. So it's going to show people how to get prepared for their exit in 48 hours, which is okay. fantastic. And we're just going to outline all the bullet points that they should know for their comprehensive exam. Um, and what about for entrance yeah. exams? as well oh yeah we, we already have a uh yeah we have a tease prep for the entrance exams and so do you have any opinions on those entrance oh, exams so and... opinions. yeah let's hear it <laughs> i do too <laughs> <clears throat> okay let me get a whiteboard here we go no i'm just kidding <laughs> um, <laughs> no i mean i think the tease is uh um well the tease and the hesse a2 or h2 i forgot what it is same thing it's an entrance exam but it's almost like an SAT, but like a smaller version because they do right. like biology, chemistry, and like and like some basic math. Um, I don't know if that's even helpful to qualify someone for nursing school. Um, I personally think that it's unneeded because if you have a good GPA too. and you've already done all this work with your prep work. Um, yeah. But that's actually how I got into nursing school. There was, uh, there was two girls, there was three of us taking the T's exam. And one of those girls needed to fail, two of them, but one needed to fail for me to get into the into the program. And so one of them failed wow. and I got into the program. Yeah. Oh so my Mike gosh. gave her food poisoning. He put Visine yeah. in her coffee and she, <laughs> you never made yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's how simple uh, nursing quick, came to be. This, this is on the tail end of what you asked him. Erica, um, somebody said a huge thanks to him for helping me ace the farm. Hesse Christmas. You didn't know this Christmas 2021 was spent with Mike. All right. <laughs> Ask Mike if okay. he has a solution that nursing schools can use to replace the tedious handwritten, subjectively graded care maps. Whoa. They yeah. hate care plans. Evidently <laughs> they want to know your take on that. Well, who doesn't oh, care plans? Yeah. Who doesn't hate care plans? It's funny that they say this is because um, I believe California and a few other states um, do not require care plans anymore to be in your nursing program. So Hallelujah. my school actually yeah. went, yeah, they deleted care plans altogether. Um, so amazing. There's, some, there's some great options out there called ChatGPT and also Claude AI <laughs> that can write your care plan for you. So. <laughs> Have you tested it? Serious? Do they seem appropriate? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't tested the care plans, but we do test scripts a lot, and it's amazing. Okay. Um, we ask for case studies, and we ask for different client scenarios. Uh, we even give it. Uh, we even give AI. We have an AI consultant now because AI is just accelerating so quickly uh, that yeah. we need a consultant, and we put in um, NCLEX questions and asking it different prompts of beefing things up. And man, it does an amazing job. And professors proof it. They're like, "Wow, who wrote this?" They're like, "Oh, it's wow." AI. Did you hear about yeah, the attorney that used AI a few months ago to write a brief? Yeah. And, and it, then there it was completely, a, yeah, it, it, it made referenced up, yeah. a case law yeah, that didn't case. exist. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. And so, I, yeah, so I just wonder if it could do that medically, you know, if it's going to just make it up out of nowhere. <laughs> I, and I mean, I think it could, but that's why you always need a prover. So that law firm, you know, AI could probably got ninety percent there, but then they just right. need a proofer just to just to go through all the fine details and make sure everything's verified. Um, but I think AI yeah. is going to change a lot of things. So, are great. you supportive of AI when it comes to bedside nursing? Where do you see that going? Oh man, okay. So before it starts sucking our blood and making us slaves, I think that AI is going to be great <laughs> initially. Yeah. 
I, I foresee the, the future of kind of medical, at least in the ER setting and ICU intensive care stuff, is like, you know, like a tube. And your patients will go into a tube and then imagine the entire pixels and x-rays and everything, all scannings is going to be done that too. So it'll all be done for you and they'll diagnose, they'll treat everything and then shoot them off to another part of the hospital. That might be amazing. That wow is hard to wrap my Isn't mind around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that's where we're going. And then, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And then stem cells are going to be a huge thing, I think, in the future. Yeah. They're already doing um, what's it called? 3D printing of your organs. Taking yeah. out your own stem cells and spraying it and putting it back into your body for no rejection. So that's that's cool. amazing. That's, that's amazing. An, that yeah. is beyond amazing. I worry though I mean, about I, like I, the I whole robotic there's... component, you know, of actually replacing oh, nurses the... for nursing skills. Like they already have them for inserting IVs, and they claim that mm -hmm. it has a much higher success rate of getting it on the first try. Um, I have seen yeah, that. It's IV concerning. Chart. Yeah. yeah, blood draws. They do. Yeah, blood draws and stuff with the, with the computer. They're using it pretty, in, yes. uh, in Asian countries already. Yeah. Um, but I I see that even more so of like including everything, giving medications, verifying stuff, um, doing end to end care. It might take a hundred years, but I think that's the roadmap. I don't know. Um, I, I'm really I would love to so see where a nurse can just speak out loud as as they're in a room caring you know like um page doctor so-and-so um mm -hmm. add to like, hey, 12 yeah. o'clock assessment you know um call pharmacy send order to pharmacy you know whatever like that would be such a like time Alexa, saver kind right of, to be like, able yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah i think yeah. that would be that amazing would be. just to this... cut down even on charting time alone you know yeah that would oh, be incredible dude, dictation? that would be really cool That'd yeah. Really nice. Yeah. But when yeah, it comes to like actually up, replacing yeah. nurses, that concerns me. I don't know. Yeah. Like, hey, Alexa, wipe this plant's ass. Okay. Like, yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah. I mean, Alexa, I think... this patient needs an enema. I'm going to step <laughs> yeah, out yeah. of the room. <laughs> I want to do this one, Alexa. No, just <laughs> I think eventually it might happen, but I don't think that uh, you're still, I mean, think about it. We're already doing open heart surgery with robots. True. So, but that doesn't replace the surgeon because the surgeon has to right. be there. To like navigate everything, guiding it, yeah. So, I, I, I think the nursing modalities are probably the hardest thing to replace because surgery is just like a bunch of steps, right? You slice here, yeah. you do this, all these things. But like, man, nursing, you have a billion things to do and communicating through all the platforms. It, it should make our job easier. Um, I don't know if it'll ever replace it though. So, yeah, but interesting though. Better yeah. Not. What do you Better think not. is lacking in nursing school? Or do you think something is lacking? Um, yeah, a lot of the uncorked podcast. I think it should be mandatory in all uh, textbooks. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> yeah. I do too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. The impaired nurse. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the uncorked podcast. <laughs> a little bit of grooming. <laughs> Next, yeah, we'll yeah, have exactly. nursing students uncorked. <laughs> oh, no. I think nursing school is only there to do satisfy two things. Number one, getting all your clinical hours. Um, and then number two, just showing you how to pass the NCLEX. If they can do that, just wipe away all the bull crap, dude. Like there's so much bullshit inside nursing school and they it make really it harder is. than yeah. it has to be. And yeah. that's why like, um, and the we, grooming we and the bullying. Yeah. I, I think that's going to be phased out with like uh, younger and younger generations who are more sensitive, but I, I think that, so. uh, yeah, a lot of the bullying comes from like the older cultures of like, Absolutely. how nursing was before. It does. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just crazy, though, the stuff that they hardcore, like, at least I remember in nursing school, like, you know, the, the mitering of the corners of the bed and, and the <laughs> mm -hmm. right way to do the bed bath. Like, they spend the same amount of time on that stuff as, like, they would a day of learning IV starts or something. Like, the color it's like of some of it socks just doesn't make clinical. sense to me. Like, Irons, yeah, it's like, scrubs. And you have to yeah. they check off, and they're just making sure you did that bed the right way or you're going to get points off. It's enough to... Send you to the yeah. ER. Yeah. But it's so, this like, whole mentality like, of I had stupid. to do it, so you have to do it too. It made me a good nurse. Yeah. Mm, bullshit. Yeah. It, it yeah. Didn't really, yeah. Did it really though? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly. the thing. So w w I still to this day want to do our own online nursing program where we do all your book work online, video based, because now we have 2,000 videos that can take you all the way through nursing school. 
And then you just go into a Pearson View Center, take your tests, and then six months, only one semester, you do all your rotations in a compact form. Um, and so we want to. You don't be think lobbying, it maybe uh, would be helpful to do the clinical at the same time that you're studying, say, peds? Do the peds clinical? You know. I don't know though, because PA school is a two-year program. They do all their book work first, then they do all their clinical work next. Oh, do they? I didn't so, know that. Yeah. And then the same thing happens with a lot of MDs as well. They do all their yeah. work first, then clinicals after. And so nursing school is the only one that does it in tandem, uh, which is really weird. And um, I don't know if that's good or bad, because maybe you're trying to process so much shit at the same time. And maybe it doesn't stick. I don't know. Yeah. But um, but I, I just foresee a simpler way just to get through nursing school and then just start your practice. Um, because I think nursing school in of itself is just, it's, it's like a boot camp, dude. It's like military, which it, a lot it of it is. doesn't have to be that way, you know? So. Well, it would dumb. certainly help with the lack of educators. You know, there's such a shortage of yeah. nursing educators, right? And there's a shortage of nurses. We're, we're down a million nurses by 2030 is the stat. But so, there's also like 1.1 1. 1 million nurses. That's down? the reason. That's the reason. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. 1.1 1. 1 1 million it... nurses. Mm -hmm. No, what I, I guess what I'm asking is, are there's less nurses trying to go to not not nurses, but there's no, no, less no. people trying to get into nursing school as well, or no? There's actually so. a lot of people trying to get into nursing school, yeah. but it's so impacted in most in most metropolitan areas like New York, California. Okay, yeah, it's that, bottlenecked. That, yeah, so the wait list I guess is the so I'm long. Asking that is because nursing right now, you know, obviously there's such a negative connotation because of how bad the nursing is and how you know patient to nurse ratios and stuff like that so i'm wondering mm -hmm. once it trickles down are less people even wanting to consider becoming a nurse because they're hearing so much negative talk about about being in in healthcare or being a nurse you know so is there less people yeah, eat? they're like eh, oh, forget about it i'd rather I do something i don't think different, so you know? because the the job security mm -hmm. of it in this crazy economy i think yeah. is is still always going to lure enough people you know yeah and the other thing too it's like you don't have to always be bedside uh you know you can right. be yeah, that's uh, true. a cosmetic know nurse that, yeah. or yeah so i think a lot of people are liking that option and it, it's a lot of the younger generation too it's like they jumped out of school right into covid and they're like yeah. you know a lot of them are like yeah. screw this i'm not going to deal with this bullshit in hospital what a, systems. What a I'm just gonna... horrible time to be a new grad like I, oh, I can't yeah. imagine. Like, what a disservice, you know, that they not only oh, didn't get gosh. clinicals, right? But then mm -hmm. they're thrown in and they're not given a, a proper preceptorship and in the middle of a pandemic and just the worst of the worst of the worst, right? Like they're so set up for failure, unfortunately. Those that have that made is, it through true. and persisted, I mean, kudos to them. I don't mm -hmm. know that I could have done yes. it. As a new grad. Yeah, it was a you lot. You couldn't have, Erica. There's no way. Yeah. Probably I mean, not. No. I had to chew yeah. you up and spit you. <laughs> well, I'm just too outspoken. <laughs> like, you're not going to give me a mask? <laughs> are you Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. Yeah, here's I a know, paper bag like, are you, you serious? Cool. Don't tell me you don't have one nurse manager. I bet you do. Give me your, yeah. give me your mask. Yeah, let's go look in your office. <laughs> right? Where are you hoarding them? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I bet she's got an N95 in there. Probably a fresh uh -huh. one. Right. All right. So do you have any thoughts on certifications like national board certifications and specialties? Do you do any content for that? Yeah. So that's actually um, what we're doing next. So from the exit prep to refreshing the, uh, the walkthroughs for the NGN, we're also going to be doing um, our own CEUs where it's going to be really nice. cool. I can't disclose too much, but it's going okay. to be kind of like a video-based case study that unfolds for you, uh, for your CEUs. And we're going to do uh, a bundle of 30 units. And okay. the goal is to try to get you the quickest, fastest, and funnest way to get your CEUs. And once we do that, then we're going to branch out in like to the top five cert areas, like uh, CCRN, like CCRN. Nurse. Yeah. Yeah. And just awesome. making that simplified. Is there then, anything uh, you don't do, Magic Mike? Is there? <laughs> yeah, uh, the splits. I'm still trying to work on that. <laughs> for for anybody that's never heard of you, which I can't imagine, but if there's a nursing student listening to this podcast, where's the best way to start out with finding you and seeing your material and stuff? Would you tell them to go to your website? Would you say go to YouTube? Yeah. Like, where can they start? Like, and what yeah. what's your social media handle? 
So uh, YouTube is the best. Just type in simple nursing on YouTube and the average student will watch like seven or a dozen videos for free because we try to keep 30% of our content for free on YouTube. And once you kind of see how easy it can be, we recommend students watching the videos before you study. And statistically, it's proven to decrease your study time by 60% because wow. the videos are, are made to highlight the book for you so yeah. that when you watch the 10 minute video, you don't have to spend hours and hours in your book. You're like, oh, I know the top tested areas, so I can focus on these. And these are the other parts that are nice to know, but not a need to know. And so yeah, the amount of reading in school is way. overwhelming. Mm -mm, yeah. And so that's why we just cut it down. So our guarantees are double your productivity, 60% less study time. And on average, our students get 82% or higher on every exam if they follow our, our three-step program. Nice. So, and if they don't, do they get to, do they get to curse you out? No, they get, they get to come to the Magic Mike show, you know. No, <laughs> and you have if a you new YouTube pass. channel coming out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Tell um, us about that. Yeah, there's a lot going on here, guys. So this is, if you guys can see the screen, Longevity Farms. Say? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Longevity Farms. So we had this crazy idea because I'm really big into like health and wellness, longevity, um, other than when I go to the nurse cruise and everyone's boozing it up with Jessica. But, um, yeah, you guys have some we, stories. Uh, Throw me under I've the heard. bus, man. I've heard. <laughs> Jessica ended up in a pool. I was, fully yeah, clothed. I, 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 blame, I blame that on, on Mike. Hey, I pushed at least I wasn't shirtless like Mike was on the cruise. That's hey, all you know I was yeah. it was, it was Body painting. Oh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> and we had wigs. That was oh, a lot of fun. Girl. Yes. No, <laughs> Erica, totally you're going to have a blast. This will be her Erica's first cruise, so... Or, or I'm getting oh, drug not... along. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to First it. and last. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll be praying for you. So, Thank no. you. <laughs> yeah, I got to yeah. survive with Jessica yeah. sharing a room. You have to babysit me. <laughs> keep me, keep me yeah. in line, yeah. Erica. Restraints. <laughs> no, okay, so the, um, anyways, the, <laughs> the new YouTube yeah, channel Yeah, like, where is... were we? Longevity, that's Longevity where we Longevity Farms. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so... Um, it was a crazy idea of, I, I bought some land outside of Austin, Texas, about like 15 minutes from the airport. And it was like five acres. And I was just going to be like, oh, yeah, I can just hold on to it and then sell it one day. So my brother is super big into like saunas, cold baths, fasting, ketogenic diets and things like that. I love that stuff. And he's like, dude, he's like, yeah, he's like, why don't we um, put together the first Airbnb with like five tiny homes and do like a, like a biohacking or longevity farm? And Ooh. it would have a sauna, cold plunge. We'd have QR codes set up everywhere to like show you to get really good deep sleep, which vitamins and uh, supplements are the best for your body and cellular uh, repair. And then also break down fasting and things like that and even hold retreats there. So we're like, oh, that'd be cool. I want to come. And then I'm thinking, that sounds amazing. okay. Yeah. Yeah, we should have an uncork there. That'd be cool. Yeah. Well, are they going to have a masseuse? Because I need a massage if I'm coming there. We're, we, Not we're... that kind of massage, but yeah, we'll have some masseuse. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, okay, Daddy, this is watch the, out. the PG massage, not one with a happy ending. You <laughs> don't know PG. <laughs> I do. I do. I can be good. I and and if serious she tries. sometimes, right? If she's I do. really hard, you got to check really. So are you going to have like so, the infrared thing? Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. Red light panels are going to be there. Yeah, that. I'm, I'm going to try that this yep. uh, Friday for the first time. A company reached out to me. Yeah. Here in Vegas, so I'm gonna go give that a try. I love that kind of stuff. I love awesome. it, like biohacking, oh, man, the, yeah, the, longevity. It's fascinating. Yeah, the red light is so good for your hemoglobin. Apparently, more oxygen attaches to your hemoglobin. It's really good for your face. It revitalizes a lot of connective tissues. It's amazing. I'm gonna buy a, a whole panel for my own house, so it's gonna be good. I love it. I yeah. love it. So yeah. Okay, well, remember your friends when you're when you're up and going, because oh, I want yeah, if you I want, want anyone to come and give reviews and you know just send yeah, yeah. us there for for free, for sure. we'll we'll do it right. So, Mike, thank you yes. for being on oh, Nurses Uncorked. Um, thank you so much you for me, coming. You made me laugh. <laughs> Thanks laugh, for having me. Laugh just, a lot. Uh, yes, you crack me up. Please, if you guys are. Um, Going to nursing school, considering nursing school, don't forget Nurse Mike um, with Simple Nursing. Uh, he's on all social media platforms and um, will teach you all sorts of tips and tricks to get you through through nursing school and beyond. That should oh, be yes. a t-shirt. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Nursing school and beyond. Nursing school and beyond. All right. Yeah, Thank you, Mike. Hold, hold Appreciate yep. it. Till next time, guys, on the next Nurses Uncool. <laughs>